Hi everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this video I will show you how to get out of the water with your foiling gear. If you already know how that works, this might still help you to improve and if it doesn't, make sure to check out my recent and upcoming more advanced tutorials. Subscribe my channel to not miss anything and if you want to help me making windsurfing great again, leave me a like under this video. Let's get started. First off, it's gonna be way different than on your normal fin. You gotta get used to the feeling of how the foil carries you. It's a process and you won't learn it in a day. There's a few important things you need to consider. Let me try to explain it to you in only 90 seconds. 90 seconds from now. Conditions and gear. Depending on your gear, you want to start at an easy day. Something around 10 to 12 knots with an average fall and a 7 square meter sail. Also you want to use a board that has a width around 85 centimeters. Make sure you start on a day as flat as possible so you don't have to deal with any waves since that's only gonna make it harder for you. Ideally, you'll go to the lake. But make sure it's deep enough, you don't want to damage your fall. Also, try to mount your foot straps as far inside as you can on your board. Getting on the plane. Don't be surprised, you will start playing much sooner than you will with your normal fin. But the fall will create a lot of pressure. Try to start planing in your normal position. If it's your first time, you want to take it really easy. Stay on the plane for a little while before you actually make a next move. Preparation. Now you can slowly start to put your front foot in the front strap and your back foot between the back straps. Now, it's very important that you do not move into your normal windsurfing posture. Keep your weight on top of the board. Make sure you're in a comfortable position before you make any further step. Getting on the foil. Now the exciting part starts. You're gonna slowly move your weight and balance from the mast towards the back foot. That will make the foil start to lift. You still have to keep your weight on top of the board. Trust me, if you lean back at this point, you will crash. The board will now start to lift off the water. If not, it's most probably not windy enough. If you feel somewhat comfortable, you may as well try to pump a little bit, but try to pump less sideways against the fin, but more downwards against the wings. Now it's on you to keep your ride stable. And how that works, I'll explain you another time. So that's it. If you like my explanation and if you feel like it helped you, I'd be happy about your support by giving me a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date with more tutorials, subscribe my channel and let's make windsurfing great again.